Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some important updates on the Autumn Statement 2023 delivered by Chancellor Hunt. Let's dive into the key points at a glance. Chancellor Hunt announces a significant cut in the main 12% rate of employee national insurance contributions, reducing it to 10%. This cut takes effect from January 6, 2024, benefiting 28 million people and saving the average salary earner pound 450. Hund emphasizes a responsible approach to government spending on public services, focusing on tackling waste. The measures are expected to result in a 19 billion pounds reduction in public service spending, accounting for inflation as per the Office for Budget Responsibility (OBR). The OBR forecasts a 0.6% growth in the economy this year and 0.7% next year. The economy is now 1.8% larger than pre-COVID levels. Inflation is expected to fall to 2.8% by the end of 2024, down from 11.1% last year. GDP projections show growth in the coming years, with a slight adjustment compared to March forecasts. Inflation is expected to decrease to 2.8% by the end of 2024, according to the OBR, with a prolonged period of higher inflation. Interest rates are expected to remain elevated, with the key interest rate sticking at around 4% until 2028. Chancellor Hunt announces significant welfare reforms to get 200,000 more people into work. The national living wage will increase to £11.44 per hour from April and benefits will see a 6.7% increase. Tougher work requirements for benefit claimants are introduced, along with an 8.5% increase in the state pension. Chancellor Hunt reveals that headline debt is projected to be 94% of GDP by the end of the forecast period, lower than March estimates. The budget deficit is estimated at 4.5% of GDP in 2023-24, to 24, a slight improvement from previous forecasts. Full expensing becomes permanent, allowing businesses to offset investments against tax. Hunt aims to reform taxes for self-employed individuals, abolishing Class 2 national insurance contributions, and cutting Class 4 contributions by one percentage point. A business rates discount for hospitality, retail and leisure worth £4.3 billion is introduced. The Chancellor allocates an additional £4.5 billion between 2025 and 2030 for manufacturing, with specific support for aerospace and green technologies. New investment zones are announced in Wrexham, Wales, Greater Manchester and the West and East Midlands. The government explores options for the sale of some of its stake in NatWest through a retail share offer. There you have it, the key points from the Autumn Statement 2023. Stay tuned for more in-depth analysis on each of these topics in our upcoming videos. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.